What's up guys? This is OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Word Wave keyboard and then I'm going to compare it to the other three default keyboards. So the first thing you want to do, you're going to go to the Play Store and you're going to search for Word Wave, which I've done. I've already installed it, but I'm just going to show you. Once it installs, we're going to open it up straight from here and then we're going to enable those permissions. So you can see we're going to click on that and then we're just going to click and select Word Wave and press OK. And we're going to go back. And we're actually going to enable the keyboard. And then from now on, we'll be using that keyboard. As you can see, I can actually, actually learn your words from your Gmail accounts, your emails that you've sent. And it can also learn words from Facebook. There's also a, a little statistics thing that shows you exactly how it's working and how it's improving you're typing which is cool and then you can see that list of the keyboard gesture shortcuts that are available so it's a really cool app it's actually pretty pretty easy to use but I'm just going to show you exactly how it works when you start typing a message now the problem is I have really big fingers and no matter how hard I try I always misspell things now of course this isn't gonna this isn't gonna alleviate my problem but it for sure actually makes it better. So we're just going to type, I have a standard message that I'm going to use for all three of the three of the keyboard options and then we're going to see which one's the best. So it's what's up my dudes. You can see the corrections that it's making as I type. And then if you swipe up, this is one of the, see I don't want the so if you swipe up from the backspace button, it actually deletes the word, the whole word. You don't have to tap, tap, tap. It's OSAS from Wonder. See, and then also, I want Wonder. So if I swipe to the right, I'll get the, the Wonder selection. So on the space bar, I'll swipe to the right and I'll get that suggestion. If I swipe to the left, I'll get the left suggestion. And then if I press the space bar, obviously I'll get the middle suggestion. How to, space bar, I'll select that. I'm gonna put a period. This is my haiku. I spelled haiku wrong, but you can see it's suggested right there in the middle. I'll push space. And now I want to enter in an exclamation point. So right here, there's a exclamation point, I don't know if you can see it, right there where the comma is. So instead of tapping and holding like you would for the other keyboards, I can just swipe up and it'll input that exclamation point. So it's pretty cool once you get used to all the shortcuts, it's actually really fast and it does a great job of predicting exactly what you want. Now I'm going to compare this to Google Voice just as an alternative. If I don't like typing, obviously I'd rather use an app that I don't actually have to type anything. So from here, we're going to swipe down, and then we're going to select Choose Input Method, and then we're going to choose Google Voice Typing. What is up, my dudes? It's OSAS from Wonder How. Two. This is my haiku. Exclamation point. And as you can see, it didn't really get it all, and I forgot to put periods, which is one of the things that annoys me. Nobody's going to remember to say period after every sentence when they're speaking, but I did actually get that exclamation point there. So it's not terrible, but fast from instead of OSAS, and I've done it before, which you can see in the article that it was even worse than this. So Google Voice isn't really the best, but if you really do need a hands-free approach, then it's a decent option. You just got to pay attention to what exactly it's writing down. So now we're just gonna I'm gonna try the standard um, Samsung keyboard, and we're gonna see how that works with the same exact same exact um, phrase. So just gonna select Samsung keyboard. You can see it right there. I'm gonna type in the same thing. What is? I'll try to up my dudes whoops where's period what is up my dudes it's osas from wonder how 
to this is my haiku period and as you can see that's pretty terrible and that's that's probably the main reason why I tried to search for a different a different keyboard because I use this I used to use this as my standard keyboard but it just my thumbs are too big and I just can't I literally just can't use it and when I I want it to auto predict it doesn't auto predict and then when I don't want it auto predict it auto predicts and it's just annoying so I rarely rarely use the Samsung standard keyboard but that's just me if you have smaller fingers it's probably not that big of an issue but I hate it personally and then lastly we're gonna do swipe now before I even used swipe I thought it was gonna be too complicated and I wouldn't be able to do it but it's actually pretty good pretty accurate and it's pretty fast so again we're gonna type in the same thing I'm gonna do what what is up my dudes period it's and that's just never gonna work osas from wonder how to period space this is my hi Coup. period and as you can see it's actually super accurate it's pretty fast and the automatic spacing is clutch because it saves a lot of time now if you have to input periods and exclamation points which I actually forgot to do that's where it gets a little a little complicated where is the exclamation point because you have to press hold swipe over then select it which is kind of annoying and it's not as fast if you're swiping through and then you have to stop and hold for something it obviously slows you down but as you can see it's pretty accurate my name osas it put paid but that's the only mistake i actually made when i used it and that's only because it just hasn't learned my name yet so swipe is a, a pretty good option but i'm still in favor of the word wave app which i'll go back to and i'll just show you some of the other cool options that it has so, inside of the app, you can click on this. See that little gear? Oops, it's super small. So, sometimes that happens. You click on the gear. Let's try this one more time. There we go. And then you have the options to change the theme. So, you can just tap there. You can see that. That's a different theme. You can tap, just keep tapping it. It has seven different themes. And they're all pretty cool, but I, I usually stick with the standard white one. But for now, we'll go with this blue one. You can uh, make each letter pop up so you know which letter you're going to choose. You can change the color of the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You can change the color of the little icons right here. Let's go in blue. There's pink. Um, you can also make... You can see how the symbols are, are there in the small. You can turn that off if you want but I actually like it there so I can see the secondary options. You can also increase the size of the keyboard itself and you can change the font. And this is all from within the app, which is super cool and makes it super easy to use. And then here's for more options, which takes us back to the main menu. So that's really, really the rundown of all of the options you have plus the WordWave app. And for my money, I would choose WordWave 100% of the time. It's free, it's in beta, it'll probably have some more tweaks and improvements later on, but it's ideally the best for people with big hands or people just looking for another option for their keyboard, and it also has some customization features. And don't forget about the learning of your words and your vocab from Facebook and Gmail. So be sure to check it out in the Play Store. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial in Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. Thanks, guys.